Robovan partnership between Starship Technologies and Mercedes-Benz Vans creates the perfect synergy of transportation technologies for local delivery. When the two transportation methods, robots and vans, converge into one, the result is the most efficient, cost-effective and convenient delivery system in the world. The Robovan is a first-in-the-world transportation system that comprises of self-driving delivery robots developed by Starship Technologies and Mercedes-Benz vans that act as a mothership and are configured to allow robots to enter and exit autonomously during delivery stops in the local neighbourhood. The mothership concept is the combination of the intelligent and innovative van with the smart and agile robots of Starships. It will really be a quantum leap when it comes to lost my logistics. The specially adapted Mercedes-Benz vans stop in designated areas in the local neighbourhood for loading and unloading of the local fleet of delivery robots. For delivery to be carried out as efficiently as possible, the best stop for the van is calculated based on the location and the status of all the robots within the area. The Robovan can hold eight Starship delivery robots and has multiple baskets above the robots for storing the goods for that particular area. The robots autonomously drive into the van for loading by the driver and once loaded, autonomously drive out the other side of the van for delivery to the customer. The loaded robots can thus be sent on their way as a free-floating robot fleet to deliver their cargo safely and reliably within a radius of up to two miles. In the future, the innovative cooperation between Starship Technologies and Mercedes-Benz vans will ensure quick, on-demand and cost-effective delivery for consumers. I met a nice uh, German uh, gentleman uh, here yesterday while uh, testing the robot and we agreed that we are going to do a delivery. So we are going to deliver some groceries to him. Now our robot is at its uh, starting point of its autonomous driving route. Its cameras are looking around. So it generally knows its location at one inch accuracy. So now the robot is driving autonomously. It looks around, it sees where, where the sidewalk is and it, uh, it adapts its speed based on obstacles. And now it's slowing down because it's approaching a driveway and it's looking around for cars. It doesn't see any cars, so that's, that's why it's continuing right now. So now the robot is slowing down because it's a busy street and it wants to do that uh, turn properly. The Starship robot is designed uh, to be not 100% autonomous, so at some point it actually needs the help of an operator. In some difficult spots the robot calls uh, out for help. Like for instance here. Here is a driveway and the robot is, is not sure whether there are car, ca cars coming or not. There are cars on, on the left here. But right now it's actually a safe situation, so I will tell the robot to continue. Doing all that navigation autonomous right now is not that an operator is helping that. Now another driveway is approaching, the robot is slowing down. But there's no danger, so it's continuing. The robot is programmed to avoid you know, pedestrians and and you know obstacles so it drives past them and uh, that's why it's, on, it's constantly on the lookout. get a movie of this too. The drive took uh, about uh, 10 minutes. We achieved about 90% autonomous driving. Right now it was a good run, so it's a good robot. 